Good afternoon, everybody. It's Birdie and Luna. Shut this door now before the dog will come in. I have to go out again. And it's not something I wanted to do, but it's okay because I need to get out in the air. And we're going to take Luna with us. Because she's been passing to go somewhere. And I don't know, maybe, I think it's in the vicinity. I'm pretty sure I might pass it, so if I do... We may stop in and give this little girl a peace of mind of what she wants. So she can stop having tantrums whenever I go out. And she see places she want to go. And we're going to get her out of her nighty. And yes, yeah, she's roughing it. She's definitely having a bad hair day. But before we do that, I'm going to show you what she's going to wear. She's wearing red and black again. And that wasn't my plan, but I realized that I didn't buy a lot of winter stuff for Luna. Because I buy stuff off season and she came in winter, so I got a lot of summer stuff, I think. But as I go out every day and go out and get dressed, I see that I don't have that much stuff. Especially if I want to change her as much as I do. I don't like taking her out in the same stuff all the time. But this is what she's going to wear. It's a six size 6 month blouse with a little bow. It's like a little orange, but kind of red. I'm going to rock it with these red bows if i could make it look good if not she probably be rocking a black bow which i doubt because i don't really want to see the black bow today and this here mommy personal assistant t-shirt size three to zero to three months and my nursery really need to be organized better and these black leggings six months and I don't know if I'm going to put on um, these red socks again with these shoes, which it goes because it's a dressy blouse, but I'm not feeling that. I might just put on some white socks with these boots. I'm feeling that. So I'm really thinking it's this. Because um, the boots might not come off where we're going to go. And, and once you're about to be over over here in Georgia, so I might as well get the use out of them boots while I can. I think her sister might have worn once. She had to because they were in, out of the um, container of where they would be. But as I was getting her, getting myself situated to make this video, I was like, oh, I know this outfit I wanted to put on her. And you know, I could not find the outfit. I know I bought that. It wasn't even the outfit. It was a, um, it was overalls. Pink and brown overalls. I don't know where I put it. And my nursery is in disarray. Complete disarray. Because I was going to break it down and make it a temporary bedroom. I still may have to do that. Because um, I have extra bedrooms. But for some reason, they want this one. I'm trying to talk them out of it. Of not wanting this one. Because the other bedroom is in the back of the house. They don't want to be back there. So, I said for two or three months, I would give up my nursery. But that's about it. After two months, you got to go. Because <laughs> I'm going to have my nursery back. And you're going to be in the back of the house if you're still here. I love this sleeper. And it's fleece. I'm so surprised. I hope after I wash it that I still will like it. Because I am not a fleece person. I don't like texture. On my hands like that. But I fell in love with this one because it has the stars and the moons on it. And all my babies are named after the stars and moons on the earth. Juicy legs. Juicy legs. Mm -hmm. I love this baby. She is made so well. Let's take these little tootsies out. And we're going to put these right on your hand. I love her details. I love her little ankles. The indentations of the bone. The marking of the bone. We're going to put this on your hands. Because mommy don't like the gloves. The gloves seems too small to me. So these socks. Which I got maybe six pair for a dollar or two dollars. Something like that. So I got a bunch of them. They're too big. And I don't mind because for that price. Sure. 
I probably wear socks too big. <laughs> and I'm going to keep her diaper on. I don't change her diaper as much as I... Well, Thea, the main one that I change a diaper almost regularly. She has a drinking wet. And I enjoy playing with the drinking wet. I pay for it. I like it. Excuse me. For making that sound, if you hear it. But my ear is itching. Inside my head. Hey, mama. So, this is a um, Once Upon a Child outfit. I saw it at, I want to say, Children's Place or Kid Palace. No, Children's Place or Jumbery. I saw it. And it was um, $20. And I bought it for. Six fifty with most likely a seventy percent to a ninety percent sale on it. Cause again, I shop when nothing is full price. I had four real kids, so therefore I need to shop like that because I'm a single parent and they do not come cheap. And unfortunately I thought my hobby just got lint on it, man. I wanna yeah, mom got to get it together. But she don't like the lint. But I don't have time to nitpick, really. Because I got to get out of here before the place closes. I ordered something last week to be delivered. And I need it. And it hasn't gotten here yet. So I called in today to see if I have to pick it up. Because I don't have a little day to wait for me. ran out last week I need it now this fits you so well and that's the thing like I have clothes for um Zentori which I really was hoping that I could put Luna in and some people do put this baby in a three month size clothes but I don't feel comfortable squeezing her in some of the stuff like it looks so young like I like the looseness and the comfortability so she could move I don't like her to be tight all the time. Some stuff is going to be tight. Like in the summer, you might see her looking yeah. young. Because, what are we putting on? We're going to put on those white socks. Because I really like the boots. So, let me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. really need to take notes when I um, get ready to do a video. So I have a notepad here where I can actually see what I want to say because I'm not a talker about topic. I'm going to keep my personal life. Okay, sorry. The video, <clears throat> I needed more space and didn't know that it ran out. So I had to delete some videos just to finish this video. And I'm glad I did because when I went out today, and I wanted to video her. I might not have enough space. And I wouldn't want it to be cut off like that out there. Because it might have been a reaction or something that I didn't want to miss. <clears throat> Excuse me. I tell you, if I could get this right, you know. This throat and coughing. Don't know how so I can't wait till summer. But yes. Luna, can you put your toe right, please? Thank you, Mama. Stop playing. Look at you. Got me putting the sock on wrong because you're playing with your toes. One thing I did want to talk about a little bit is um, as far as going out with the baby and stuff, I don't have a problem with going out with her and acting like, you know, whatever. Like I carry her and I do it. I didn't necessarily start this as a... um. Um, I didn't start this as just a, a video where I just said, oh, I'm going to, um, take my babies out all the time. It started out with, um, Zentori, actually. I bought her a stroll and everything because I had to get my health right. So I said, all right, the doctor want me to do this and the doctor want me to do that. So let me take her with me and I will walk. I will put her in a stroller and I will walk. And her weight, because she's like nine or so pounds or something. The weight in the stroller would be good for me. Better than if I was just to walk on my own. So 
So that's how it started. Excuse me for dropping you guys. I'm messing around with Luna in these socks. You probably got a taste of this nursery. Who knows? But to each his own, they need to be clean. And can you still see, Will? Hold up. Okay, sorry about that. I am trying to put her in these leggings, Lord. They are so tight. Knock the camera off. But yes, yeah, so back to what I was saying is I started taking Zentori out as an exercise for my body to, you know, get healthier walking. Because I don't exercise. I cannot exercise in that aspect of running and jogging and exercising. I'm not going to do that. So walking is my go-to exercise in order to survive. And then um, my leg is cramping. Then, um, that was fine. Did that for a while. It worked out wonderfully. The doctor still was not pleased. I still was having different issues and stuff. And, um, it didn't have nothing to do with the walking or what I was doing. My body was just deciding to do what it wanted to do. And things just got terrible. Last year was, like, the worst news. You know, like, I kept getting negative stuff back. And then when Luna came... Right before Luna came, actually, I had went to the doctor in October, and they told me some more negative stuff. So I had started doing something else as far as my diet and stuff, and changing the way I eat and live. And of course, still trying to take my babies out. This don't look like they can go in here. Well, they be. I'm gonna have to do it this way, baby. Sorry. I don't like to do it like this, but I have to. This shirt is not stretchy. And I changed the way I eat. And I still like to take my babies out. And I like to take Luna out a lot more than anybody because I carry her in my hands because her eyes are open more so than the rest. And to be honest, I, since October to, I want to say December or January, beginning of January, I actually lost a lot of weight. I lost like 20 pounds in three months. And it wasn't like I was trying to lose it or anything. I didn't diet. I didn't exercise. I did change my diet, but I didn't diet. I actually had to eat a lot more than I ever ate before. And I'm still kind of losing. How was that? 179. Now I'm at 155. And I'm trying to um, get it right so I can stop losing because I'm getting to the point where I don't want to look a certain way. Like I didn't want to be small. I'm only 5'2". So people thought I was a good weight, but I don't want to be skinny. I like the weight I was. Nice and thick. Not fat, but thick. This shirt, I don't like so much. I don't like this shirt. <laughs> it's giving mommy a hard time, even though it's a big shirt. I'm glad I didn't put the long sleeve shirt on you. This is terrible. See what I mean about putting her on? Three month clothes because she is a chunky baby. So I take her with me, like I was saying, that jumping all over the place. That's why um, I like to take her and I actually use her like her weight and pick her up and bounce her around like this, and it tightens up my arms. I, I feel it tighten up my arms. I want my definition in my arms. If I gotta be smaller, I need definition. And um, my legs, I like to walk, so therefore I have definition in my legs. I can't stand flabby legs. And I'm not a spring chicken, I'm in my 40s. So, I have to remember, you gotta tighten stuff up at this age, I guess. I never had this issue before. <laughs> so Luna is actually getting a lot of time out the house. Because she's my workout buddy on a sneak tip. Luna, I so don't like this outfit. It is so much work to put you in, Mama. Let's see if we can get the back of this looking good. And at least uh, if I can get this sleeve right. So that's one thing that I, you know, I don't. 
use that as an excuse to take her. I love taking her out. I paid good money for her. I'm going to show off this art. My artist put a lot of time and effort in it. And, um, I don't, I'm the type of person that I really don't care what you think. And if you don't like what you see, don't look at it. And I will tell you. And one of my children, my oldest child, actually, didn't prefer my babies when I first started out with the collection. She was like, they're a little weird, Mom. Don't you feel like, you know, I don't want you to do this, and I don't want you to take them out, and this, that, the other. And I was like, look, I'm going to do what I want to do. Some people probably thought I shouldn't have had you, but I have you. And uh, so now, it's been a couple of years. I don't know how many exactly since my first reborn. But now she loves my dolls. It's like she loves the dolls because they bring me so much joy. Like when I go out, she told me the other day when I went out with that reaction video, she said, Mom, you never get tired of that. I said, well, I get tired of carrying the baby. Like yesterday, there were so many reactions that I had to lead them all because I was tired of carrying her. And I was tired of people stopping me every step I took because I was, my arms was tired, but not tired of the, um, educating people about the baby. I do enjoy sharing the joy that I feel for these dolls. And a lot of people say, oh, I want to take the babies out. But please, if you take your baby out, enjoy your hobby. Enjoy the joy that your dolls give you. And don't be embarrassed of it first. Because if you're any kind of shy or embarrassed, it's going to show. And people are going to treat you some type of way sometimes. I think that with the positive energy, you get positive feedback. And if you don't, be ready for it. And where are your boots? I think she's wearing your boots. That's on. Um, I'm going to do me. And every day is a challenge to be on this earth. So if my dolls bring me excitement and joy, that's what I'm going to do. I take care of my kids. I take care of my bills. And anybody that got any kind of judgment on me, they don't do either. They don't pay my bills and they don't take care of my kids. And they sure don't be by my babies. So, why should I care what anybody think? I mean, I do care what my kids think. If it's, if it's on a positive note, if it's an ignorant note, no. You, you could take that opinion elsewhere. I'm not concerned with that opinion. Because at the end of the day, that's going to stay on puppy is barking because he's getting talking. I have three Yorkies. One was in my last video with Thea. That one you will see. The other two you probably won't see because they just buck wild and I don't have them around my babies. They run around the house and when they come near them I'll be like gone because they, they only a year old. They don't know better. They don't follow directions as good as the other one. And one of them is okay but I, they like to chew stuff up. And if you a chewer you don't want to be around me nor my babies. Let's see. Get the little hand out of here. Oh, my foot is going to sleep. That's a negative that's been happening lately. Oh, you little. Let me go over here. Okay. I think she looks adorable. Hopefully, we're still recording. Yes, we are. Didn't know that um, I needed to check for space because I forgot that I was making these videos so much now, so I don't delete them as fast as I should. Yesterday I had a hard time uploading one of them, and I'll be watching the YouTube videos, and I'm loving seeing my um, nieces. I haven't seen too many silicone nephews on YouTube that much. But um, I've seen reborn nephews, and they are beautiful. I don't know if I'll do the reborns again. I have a couple artists that I would love to have their baby as far as a reborn. But they're costing silicone prices. And unfortunately, if, I could, if I'm going to pay silicone prices, I'm going to pay for a silicone. That's just me. Okay, you all dressed, sweetie? Mm. That's mama, baby girl. It looks so cute. Can y'all see that? Yes. Are you looking at the camera? We got to do your hair because we got to go. We do. You ready to get your hair done? Hmm? I hope you are.
and you have a tangle in your hair that I did not even conquer the other day. And I don't always conquer it, but it really needs to be conquered. Maybe today, I don't know. Let's see how we're going to do your hair. We don't know really how we're going to do your hair. And I did get her comb back. This is the comb that I use for her. I use this side only. It's a dollar um dollar or two dollar comb. It's two for a dollar or a dollar. And this is a more expensive comb, but it's okay. I use it. I use whatever I have to because I don't use a comb, like I said, in my hair. So these are old combs that I made a bought and never got a chance to use because when I first went natural I thought I would comb my hair, but I realized I didn't need to. I finger comb my hair and I have a really giant comb that comb my hair with. And I am moisturizing her hair a lot because I have to comb it out. And I know she has a tangle on this end. And there are gonna there's gonna be some hair coming out. I can see that right there. I can pull this right up. I don't like that with her way to see this. Most likely this strand is coming out. Because I'm using a detangler. And I don't know if you can see it, but I see it. And it's got to go. This little piece right here. Because it's just going to tangle up again. Somewhere else. Is that toothbrush? And it seems very tedious, but that's what needs to be done. Is to get these little. They call them. I forget what they call them because I have them in my hair, where the cuticle of the hair grabs a hold of the hair. tangled on the end part and there was no way I could untangle that end. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Let's see if I can find. Now Zentori hair does not tangle at all. And, and maybe because Luna hair is a lot longer. It definitely is a lot longer. There we go, beautiful. Now, I don't do her whole head in the middle with the toothbrush. And see, we still have that tangle right here, which I'm probably not going to mess with right now. Because, again, I said I don't have time. But I do have time to get her cute. And you should never really mess with your baby's hair to untangle or do anything of that nature when you don't have time. And I think this is the most I've talked in any of my videos about anything important or relevant. <laughs> We're going to let her rock her messy hair look today. Hopefully it don't look too awkward. Let me see how that looks. Did I look good? I think that looks good without doing too much. That 
looks good to me. Right, mama? And we're going to get busy. We're going to upload this video so we can delete it and we can do our other video. Yeah. Okay, you ready to go? You ready to go, Papa Arts? Uh huh. Okay, bye, aunties. Thanks for watching.